about to dive in. We going deep out here, boy. So I want to talk about two things today. Um, about uh, reading the Bible. Um, two two points, and they're interrelated. Number one is read for depth, not distance. Read for depth, not distance. Number two is read until you bump into something. Okay, read until you bump into something. So the two are read for depth, not distance. Read and read until you bump into something. So what is the concept of uh, read for depth, not distance? So I want you to imagine you are on a boat um, in the ocean. It's a beautiful sight. Maybe the sun is setting, beautiful sight. As far as you can see out, it's just uh, blue water. Um, now there's beauty in that and um, there's value in it. It's a beautiful sunset. Um, but that's all you get when you look in this direction, when you look in that direction, when you look in that direction. It's all blue water. Um, you can see really far out, but there's not that much detail. The second scenario is you put on scuba gear. I'm about to die. And you go down into the water. At that point, you're seeing coral reefs with amazing tropical fish with crazy colors. You're seeing all types of uh, crazy plant life and crustaceans and polyps and all other types of animals that are in the ocean. Um, now, at that point, you might not cover as much distance. You might not go out. Uh, a, a very long way, but it's because you're so uh, enthralled and, and captured by what you see in this small space. Um, and that's how it is with reading the Bible. Um, so many times growing up, I, it, it seemed like what was important was how much you read. Like, oh, people would often ask me, <laughs> like, have you read through the whole Bible? And um, I have, but that's not even what's important. I mean, because you could read through something I do it all the time. I'm in school, in law school. I do it all the time. I read through things and I'm, I'm like, uh, what the heck did I just read? What the heck was that? Um, so the point is, it's not to read for distance. Like, oh, I got through a chapter or I'm, I got through two chapters. Uh, that's my personal beef with uh, reading through the Bible in a year plans is because, okay, so I read through the Bible in a year, but how much of that did I retain? How much of that really affected my life? Instead, I learned to read for depth. I'm about to dive in. And sometimes I go super slow. Sometimes I read a few verses and I just meditate on it all day and it blesses my life. And sometimes I go back to that verse for a few days. Sometimes the same thing with a chapter. Other times I read something and I don't know what the heck it says. So why move on? If I don't know what the heck I'm reading. So I often have to look up a Bible commentary and there are several commentaries. I like to go to blueletterbible.com and they have commentaries on there um, where people actually break down the scriptures. Sometimes I have to go to the internet and just read what other people are reading on Google. Um, so I'm, I'm reading for depth. I want to understand the text and go deep in it. I'm about to dive in. Rather than just say, okay, I got through my Bible reading time today. And, and so that leads me to the second point. What we do is we read until we bump into something. Um, we don't read just to get through the reading. We, we read and we stop. Once something, uh, we read something that touches our heart or, or we know that God is dealing with us in that area, we don't move on until we bumped into something. So again, that could take five chapters. It could take one verse. Um, be led of the Spirit, man. Pray to the Holy Spirit to give you guidance in breaking down His Word. And so, man, go deep. I'm about to dive in. It's important um, to, you know, to bump into something and then wrestle with the text. Like, like make sure you understand that thing. Wrestle with it. Fight with it. Ah. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> And uh, that's all I have for today, so God bless.